Hello, Oshi Reads family. Welcome to the first of many short videos here on my channel, which essentially are just going to be five minute videos in the middle of the week to check in and let y'all know how I'm doing on my no spend, no buy challenge and also other updates that are going on. Uh, so for those of you who are concerned, no, this is not turning into like a no buy, no spend channel uh, i'm just expanding my channel so ever since i started youtube i have been primarily uh i first started out as like a i guess almost on the fringes of author tube talking about nanorimo and then i transitioned over to booktube and i have been staunchly in booktube with a few commentary social commentary videos here and there and i have decided moving into 2021 that i will be expanding my channel so that means I will be talking about other things besides just books, but I do have some book bookish videos coming up next week. So stay tuned for those. If that's all you're concerned about, then you don't have to worry. I am not completely changing this channel. There is still gonna be a lot of bookish content. It's just not gonna be every video that I post, but if you hit the notification bell, then you'll always know and be notified when I post a video and you can check to see if it is a bookish video. And there you go. For others of you who are content to watch whatever else I would like to post, still hit the notifications bell so you will be aware of when I post and then you can watch these other videos. To be specific, I will be doing more videos on no spend slash no buy, weekly check-ins like this. I will also be doing challenges and various things, um, just taking y'all along on this journey with me. And I'm also kind of doing it for myself as a kind of video diary because I want to see how things progress this year because like I, I said, if you watched my original video, I am in a strange place to be doing a no buy. I don't feel very mentally strong about it. So I just wanted to document this journey and kind of see where I am and where I'm going to end up. I want to be able to look back and see the full journey of the year and how things turned out. So I will be making videos about that. I will also be doing review videos talking about different things. I'm thinking about doing re doing review videos about maybe The Bachelor or perhaps, you know, Bridgerton or Virgin River. So I have some of those videos coming up that is still bookish because those adaptations are adapted from book series. So that is coming up. And I have some other things in the works that I'm not quite ready to talk about just yet but this channel is expanding to more than just books so I just wanted to give you a heads up next up I will also be doing a lot more cross promotion on this channel so for those of y'all that don't know I do have a book club here it is called black prose well I have a club and we have a book club as a subset of our club it's called black prose club we do podcasts and we read a book every two months. We also have a lot of other events, but essentially we uplift black authors, black writers, black storytellers and creatives. And we have our own channel, which I will link now. We also do monthly lives. We do weekly or bi-weekly podcasts. We just have a lot of great things going on. If you really want to immerse yourself um, more in information and community, centering the African diaspora, then we are the perfect book club for you. Our book of the months for January and February, it finally came in the mail. I ordered it and it took a long time to come, but this is Escaping Exodus by Nikki Drayden and we will be reading this and doing a live discussion. The third, as of right now, it's the third Sunday in February. You can also go follow us on Instagram if you wanna stay up to date with everything that we have going on. And also you can follow us on Twitter at Black Prose Book Club. So I just wanted to make that announcement for those who might not be aware or those who are aware and have just kind of not really focused in on that. I would really love y'all's support. So if you have not checked out our book club or our club channel, I highly recommend going to check it out. We have some really interesting and great discussions. If you like listening to podcast style things while you're driving, on your way to work, doing the dishes, doing chores, whatever it is, then we have a plethora and so many 
different topics that we discuss. Again, centering the black community within the African diaspora. So if you're black or a non-black person of color or just a regular white person that wants to educate, educate yourself or you know, just support, we would highly, highly, highly appreciate your support. Go subscribe to our channel and go you know, immerse yourself in the content that we have going on. If you want to be a part of the bookish side of things, again, this is the book that we are reading for the months of January and February with a live in February. So it's supposed to be a kind of space odyssey type of situation. So that should be interesting. And yeah, that's it for the announcements for my no buy, no spend midweek check-in. I will do, I will do a rundown and try to be honest. So on Monday, I was off of work for Martin Luther King Jr. holiday and I got takeout. So I spent about 20 to, 20 to $23 on takeout that day. And then I also purchased some groceries yesterday from Target. I got them delivered to my house and that was another 35 to $40 or so. So outside of that, I have tried to take it in baby steps. So my goal for this week, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing weekly goals, y'all. So my goal for this week was not to spend any money on coffee outside of my home. And it is currently Wednesday and I'm succeeding. I have not purchased coffee. I have actually woken up early, taken that time to make coffee at home. Remember that was one of the things that was really a goal that I had for my original no buy video. So I have succeeded in my goal so far. I still have tomorrow, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday to go before the end of the week. So I think I'm doing good and I, I have high hopes that I will follow through on this goal my second goal for this week is not to get takeout over the weekend so for me takeout when i you know succumb to getting takeout is usually on friday nights saturdays and sundays so last weekend that was my goal to not get takeout and i succeeded for friday and saturday night and then unfortunately on sunday i got takeout and then like i just told you on monday i got takeout so my goal is not to get takeout for let me see, for the foreseeable weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will not be getting takeout. I will be cooking at home. And that is my second goal of the week. And then my third goal of the week is to, what was my third goal of the week? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what my third goal of the week Oh, my third goal of the week is not to purchase any books via Kindle. So that was another thing. I bought about, I think, two or three books on Kindle last weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it was a long weekend. So I had Friday, obviously came home from work Friday night, and I had Saturday off, Sunday off, and Monday off because of the holiday. And I believe I purchased two books via Kindle, and there were romance novels and... I purchased them because I'm doing this project, which I will talk about later, um, which requires me to reread a lot of romance novels uh, <laughs> that I read years ago. So I purchased, I believe, two, may have been even three of them because I was just reading, 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 reading. So my goal for this upcoming week, this week so far and this weekend, is not to purchase any romance novels or any books at all so those are my three goals no coffee this whole week no takeout this weekend and no purchasing of books this weekend i will check in with y'all on sunday and let you know how i did if anyone else is doing a no buy let me know how you're doing how things are going are you discouraged encouraged uh, please give this video a like and let me know what types of videos you want to see from me outside of bookish content. If you do have some requests for bookish content, please leave that below and I will follow through with them for once because I'm really, I'm so re-inspired and reinvigorated about this channel, which is shocking because last year was tough in terms of filming and making videos. So 
put your recommendations for videos or requests in the comments and whatever non-bookish content or bookish adjacent content you want to see from me please leave that below as well and that is it for this week's midweek check-in and announcements channel announcements and i will see you in my next video which is coming up very soon Mwah. bye real quick bonus footage at the end of this video isn't my little office area coming along so good ignore the mess in the corner but there are the dogs and i have my shelves right there i have my book cart which is part of the project i'm doing for this year more on that in a future video and then i have a tapestry i have some lights i feel like y'all can't really see how great the lights are there's really nothing on this side yet my desk is really messy so i'm gonna turn off these big lights so you can see my like decorative lights okay that's better it's very like i don't know it's it's a nice ambiance so you can kind of see there's not much going on on this side i have another shelf here this is a little messy too but my printer there's my messy 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 desk these are like these invisible wall shelves that are gonna go up. Look at my orchid! So pretty! All my pens, my planners, and then my filming equipment. And yep, a little office area. It's coming along quite nicely. Have these little dividers here. Love it! Full tour coming soon.